Okay, this is going to be a vid on how to program your Mamba ESC through your remote control. As you can see, here is the quick programming guide. I'm just going to start off with this because it gives you a reference of the sequence of beeps and where they're at when you're in the sequence. There's the ESC. Now here's the hard part. To initialize the programming mode, you need to plug the battery in and then hold full throttle down on your remote control as you're either plugging it in or turning on the ESC. So I'm going to turn my remote on. This is tricky for me because I don't have a power switch. Hold full throttle and plug the ESC in at the same time. You'll see it'll start initializing. When you get to the be red beeping like this, so when you're at the yellow beeps, you can let go. Now you're in programming mode. So you got one beep, one beep. That means it's on the first setting, first option. To skip to the next option, you hold reverse. And now it's going to skip from option one to option two in the sequence. So right now it's on brake reverse, option number two, forward brake only. To skip it again, hold reverse on the remote control until it skips to the next one. So you got one beep and then three beeps. So it's brake reverse, option number three. To accept that's the one that you want, hold full throttle on your remote. You'll get a green light. It's accepted that and it's moved on to the next line in the sequence, which would be break amount. So you got two beeps, then one beep. That would be break amount number two, and then option number one for 25% breaks. So I don't want that one, I want uh, option number two, so I'm going to hold full reverse to skip to the next one in, in the sequence. So now I got two beeps, two beeps. Option number two, break them out with the second one in the sequence. So that would be 50% break. Hold full throttle to accept. There you go. So you hold full throttle till you get the green beeps, and then you let go, and it'll move to the next line in the sequence. So it'll be one, two, three. and then one beep. So option number three with option number one. So that would be 25% reverse. We'll accept that. Now we're on four beeps and then one beep, which would be punch control on high. That'll work for me for right now. Now we're on drag brake. We'll disable the drag brake. So that's five beeps, and then one beep would be disabled. So I'll accept that one. That was six and then one, so that would be start power, option number one. We can accept that one too. Next one would be voltage cutoff. That would be seven beeps for vo uh, voltage cutoff. 
and then it would be option number one for no cutoff, like if you were going to use a nickel metal hydride battery, not for lipos. For lipos, on here you could set it so that it can be auto lipo, which I believe factory setting would be 3 volts per cell. And then option three would be 5 volts, and then 6 volts, 9 volts, so on and so forth. So I want this because I only ever run two or three cells, so I'm going to run auto lipo. And that's going to automatically detect 3 volts per cell and shut it off whether it's a 2 cell or a 3 cell. And that's 7 beeps, option number 2. And I'm on 7 beeps with option number 1, so i got to hit reverse throttle so I get the red. And now that's 7, option number 2. So now, after hitting reverse, to skip to option number 2, full throttle to accept and then it'll move on to the next one in the sequence. Now we're on motor timing which would be 8 and 1. I like my motor timing low because with this motor in this truck it gets a little warm. Lowest timing equals lowest heat. So I'm going to accept that one. Now I'm on 9-1. This is where a lot of people are having trouble with their crawlers. Don't know how to take their Mamba ESCs and change them to brushed mode. So that's 9 beeps. And then 1 beep, so it would be motor type. That's going to be brushless, brushed reversing, or brushed high power. So you don't want brushless because your motor won't work. What you are looking for is brushed reversing, option number two for crawlers. Brushed high power, a little bit more difficult. You want to know how to do that one, email me on the forum. But that one you're basically going to take all the different wires from your ESC, the red, the white, and the black, and you're going to link them all together to the positive end of your brushed motor and then run another negative off of the motor to the ESC. Not suitable for crawling. It would be more for racing high turn motors or something like that. Uh, high turn brushed motors. So for crawling you want option number nine with the second option in the sequence which would be brushed reversing. So right now we're on nine one so we're gonna hit reverse on the throttle, you get the red beep, so now we're on 9, option number 2, full throttle to accept it. So now it's flashing green, we're all good to go. Now there's the final sequence, you're ready to go, you're completely programmed, and uh, you're ready to go.